Hey y'all, it's Rob. Rob Painless. Boys and girls, today we're going to do a little bit of redneck engineering. This is not going to be the most exciting thing ever done, but it's something i got to build and I figured I'd just show you what I'm doing. A couple of y'all may remember seeing that rain barrel video I did the other day where I finally got my rain barrels hooked up where they'd catch a little water off the front of the house. <clears throat> it worked great. I've been watering my garden with it ever since then. The problem is, as a very astute friend of mine pointed out, Joel said, that's going to get a little tedious having to dip cans of water out of there and carry them over to your garden and pour them in. Well, he was right about that. I'm not surprised. He's right about a lot of things. So, what I need to do is make a siphon hose so I can get a siphon started and then run a hose on out there to it. And maybe that will make my life a little easier and I can water it without having to make a hundred trips back and forth. Now, I may wind up using up my water a little bit quicker that way, but surely to goodness we'll get another little rain here in the future and fill the barrels up again. Most of y'all know how a siphon works, I feel like, <clears throat> but a lot of people don't anymore. Basically, a siphon is when you get water traveling lower than the height of the water. It's part of Pascal's law. Pascal said that water is going to try to equal itself out. And if the water level in these tanks, because they fill up from here and it rises up the same because water is going to level itself out, no matter how big or small either container is, it's going to keep coming right up the top right there. And if you put a hose in, which is going to be this guy here, and you get that hose full of water, and you get the end of that hose down lower than the top of this water, let's say the water level is right there, all the hose that's going in there has to do is be down in that. And if this part is lower, the water is going to be, and, it, and it's flowing, and you get it full and no air trapped in it, it's going to start flowing out until it equals itself out. Now, if the hose is just empty down there, water in a garden or whatever else, it's never going to empty itself out, and it'll keep draining until this end of the hose comes out of the water. You all know that, I, probably. Like I say, some people don't, but that's how it works. So, what we're going to, yes, I know, I'm not much of an artist. That is my wife's department. That's why I'm an electrician and not a not an artist. Put that guy there. All right. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to use this hose right here. This is a one-inch flex hose. This is just a piece of the drain line that comes off of our air conditioner um, condensate uh, runoff system. Um, it. Somebody may have hit it with a lawnmower because he was thinking that the lawnmower was high enough to go over it, and it turned out it was not. So now I've got this eight or ten foot piece here that we're going to give a higher purpose to. <clears throat> we're going to run this guy into this guy and I'm going to tighten it down real good and I'm going to dope it up a little bit here, put a little bit of that rectum seal on. That rec anyway, I'm going to put some of this stuff on here and put the other end down in the, t in the barrel through the hole like that. And I'm going to use this guy here to screw into it so that it will kind of go in there without kinking over too bad and It'll make it harder for the bugs and mosquitoes and stuff like that to get in and out of. So, first thing, I trimmed this up a little bit, but I noticed it's still got some cracks in it, so I want to get past those. So we're going to take this, we're going to cut this guy off. I already marked it about where I want to cut it, so I'm going to do that. past that part that's messed up, it's a pretty good little hose. Alright, now, this guy fits in here. This is, it's a, like I say, I think this is a one inch hose. It probably says, whatever size it is, this is a three quarter inch piece of PVC and it fits in here pretty nicely. And it's going to make a pretty good seal. We're going to make that seal better by putting a couple of hose clamps on it so that we can tighten it down real good. Alright, let's put some of this stuff. You'll have to forgive what I called this a second ago. I worked oil fields and other such places where guys don't always have good manners. The original anti-leak paste was a product called Rector Seal. So we kind of, some of y'all will understand that. We kind of <laughs> modified the name a little bit. Boys will be boys and all that, I guess. All right. You know what? I'm going to put a little bit of that on the inside right there. It doesn't need much. Have that dude in there like that. Alright, now. 
these guys all have a screwdriver. This should make my life a little bit easier. I've got a couple of garden hoses laid out there now that I should be able to screw right on this. And what I should be able to do is fill this up with water, turn this off, and then bring it down low where I need it to be, and it'll stay full of water. I've done this kind of stuff before. In fact, I had another little little siphon hose I was going to show you all here, maybe how to make a nice little siphon to pull gas and then you can turn it on and off without losing everything in the tank and having to pull it all back, or with everything in the hose and having to pull it all back up again. Probably should have tightened these up a little bit before I got here and I'll bet I could have gotten away with a little bit smaller hose clamps, but this is the first thing I grabbed. Probably don't even need two of them. Probably one of them would have been completely fine. I can always take one off if I need to. But just like that, the lid back on here. And it's hot again today. It's we're easily 100 degrees again today. So, that is that, and now I'm ready to take it up front and put it in. Oh, something else I did too. <clears throat> instead of cutting this off square, I'm not sure where the camera is, instead of cutting this guy off square here, where it might get plugged up against something, I left it open like that. That way, that way it'll, it'll, it should be able to not plug itself up. A lot of times I've had siphon hoses that did that. They get stuck against the bottom, kind of like a straw. If you're using a straw and you get stuck up against something in there, then you can't pull through it. Same thing with a siphon. It won't do it. So that's why I left it open like that, kind of trimmed it up a little bit, and that should do it. So next thing will be to take it up front, put it in the hoses, and see if we can get some water flowing out of it. All right, so <clears throat> we're all set up here now. And I assure you, this is completely unrehearsed, so there's every chance that this might not work out like I think it's going to. But I feel pretty good about it. Get this guy unscrewed. Get too much. Wouldn't surprise me at all to get a fly in there before we're done. Alright, there's my water. Ooh, there's a lot of dirt right there. I would really like to not get that down in there. have to do. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to get as much of this hose in there as I can and see if we can fill it up. There we go. Now it's coiling up in there. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Now, that's about all I'm going to be able to get in there, but that should, yep, heard the water come up to it. So now I should be able, to, since the water is about that right there, I should be able to shut this hose off, the valve anyway, and then come out of the water. It should hold it. And I should be able to turn this on now, or not. <laughs> Don't you love it when stuff doesn't work? Hosing down in the water, good. Yeah, we got a trickle. I bet that's what's happening. I bet when we stuck the hose down in there, it curled up and didn't stay down in the water, good. Or there's always a chance that this crazy thing could have. I could have gotten, ah, we got a lot more air out of it that time. I could have had it in there and it had a loop in it to put a high spot in it. That would have kept that hose from filling up with water, too. I bet that may be what happened. All right, now, let's pull out a chunk and 
see. That's a little better. Still not great. You know, something else it might be too, I didn't think about. If this hose floats, some of these type of hoses do. It could be that it's not sinking down in the water. That's a little better. I don't know if we can see that on the camera there. I'm going to go around and look, but that's what I was hoping for right there. Now, this guy in there. Alright, let me see if we could see that. i got to come around here because I don't have... No, not really, not really. But I see where I need to be. I turn that on, we got water. And that is the idea. So now all I should have to do is hook it up to this garden hose here. It doesn't have any dirt in it at all. I'll let that be filling. And that's that. Anyway, pretty primitive. Not very high tech, but like I said, redneck engineering. That seems to be what I do best. If I do anything best. So, thanks for watching.